Samsung S2, Note 4 and Note 5. I'm filming with the S2, so we'll just take a look at the 4 and 5, and particularly the new Note 5, of course. Out of the box, the 4 and 5 look physically very similar, but there are differences. The Note 5 is quite a few millimetres thinner than the Note 4. Um, because of this, you can't access the battery. The back plate is sealed, so you can't get access to the back. You can't expand the memory with an SD card, so you either have 32 gig phone or the 64 gig. The old Note 4 had a sort of a grippy surface to it. The new Note 5 has a very shiny but slippery back. Face to face, the Note 5 is narrower by about 3 millimeters than the Note 4. This is because the display comes closer to the edge and the edging around the outside of the phone on the front is about a millimeter and a half thick, that's about all. Here we've got the old Samsung S2 with a raised edge on the side so that if your phone falls on its face, it's less likely to scratch the surface on the front. Whereas the new one has no raised edge or very, very little. The stylus pen with the Note 4 you pulled out with your fingernails initially and it had a snug fit to hold it in. The Note 5 has a mechanism. You have to actually push it in first to initialize it. Then it comes out really easy. And the same, pushing it back in, it clicks in nicely. The camera and the video is amazing in the Note 5. I especially like the slow motion effect. Even the sound slowed down. It's clear and crisp video. This is in 1080 HD. It has even two higher settings than this again. It even catches the hues. I can tell it's about five o'clock in the afternoon when the sun's lost its brightness. This is called virtual shot. Move the phone about 180 degrees around an object. It takes a 3D picture. Unfortunately, you can only view it on the phone itself. You can't transfer it as a file to say your laptop. So here I'm videoing the screen with another phone to show you what it looks like on the Note 5. You move the phone and you can see around the object you took the photo of. I don't think it would be for serious photographers, but it certainly is fun to play with. Well that about wraps it up for me on the Note 5. As for it being too big for a phone, well it fits in all my pockets. I'm very happy with it.